Hey friends, Kate Attacker, welcome back for another episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. We made it out of Lab X16. We met another controller, which was not awful, but not great. Um, he always scares the shit out of me. I, I hate him. I do not like, I do not like. So we're just gonna, mm, mm. no. <laughs> Basically, no. Okay, so... Oh, I guess we need to talk to him? You did a splendid job, Marked One. Now that the emissions are turned off, we will be able to order new expeditions and explore previously inaccessible territories. And also, from now on, we will conduct a most favorable pricing policy toward you. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Um, I need a job. Do you have something for me? Purge the lair of the snorks. Bring a part of the snorks body. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, snorks body. We got acquainted with Semenov back in the university where I was giving lectures on genetics. And he was my student. Thus, I became his scientific chief. Back then, we were only slightly unveiling the curtain of mystery of genome modification. So what was I saying? All right. For genetic experiments, we will need samples of fresh cells of the muscular tissue of Snork. You will have to search the bogs for this genetic material. There is a hypothesis that Snorks as species are the new level of humans evolution. In order to know this for sure, DNA test must be procured. Uh, I'm up for it. Okay. Ring a part of the Snork's body. Do I have one in my inventory? Hello? Hello. I do. Hey, buddy. I'm here for the job. There you go. Oh, wow. Took so long. I worked so hard for that. Okay. Um. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> I need a job. Um, bring the eye of a flesh. Maybe I have that back at bar. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want. <sighs> okay. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. This suit was produced by one of Kiev's defense research institutes and represents an excellent alternative to stalker handmade suits. It is an excellent combination of a bulletproof vest, a closed cycle breathing system, and an integrated system of anomalous field suppression. Due to the perfect choice of materials, it is a good choice. The only disadvantage is its price. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder, huh? Does it take the same ammo? It does not. Uh, it has better accuracy. About the same damage. Ooh, it's expensive. I would rather just find one in the wild like I did this one. That's how you save money, Hello? guys. Hello? That's that's how you save money, is you just take stuff off of dead stalkers. That That is how one saves moolah. Okay. So, I would like to hang on to a goldfish anomaly. Uh, ooh, meat chunks are kind of... Mmm, I'll keep it just in case. Whoa, wait a second, is the soul better than the meat chunk? Or did it repl- Do I have both the soul and the meat chunk? What am I doing? Okay, health. Health. Ooh, big health. Endurance, radiation, bleeding. Okay. So, what do I want to do here? Radiation, bulletproofing, bleeding, bleeding. Hello? I, I think Hello? we're good. Creepy sounds, okay. Um, I kind of do want to keep like one of each if I can. So we'll sell one Hello? slug, Hello? one flash. Oh god, we're just gonna have to go through this one by one because it won't take it out of your inventory when you have it equipped. 
Okay, so the stuff I know I can sell is jellyfish, fireball, droplets, stone flower. Uh, jellyfish, droplets, fireball. I know I can sell one of those. Stone flower? And I think I can sell all the slime. Pretty sure. Whew. Okay, we're good. So we'll sell one flash and one stone flower. Right? Yeah. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I gotta I gotta talk to you. One of those. Where's my stone flower? Here we go. Okay. And then I'll sell these. This is 45s. Will you sell me some 545s? Thanks, buddy. Love you. Always with the med kits. You know me. Always with the med kits. Have energy. Let's get some diet sausage. So we have some snacks for the road. Uh, we haven't used our other guns that much. I've been primarily relying on this, which is fine. I just don't need to focus on the other ammo as much, I guess, which is which is good. You know, I'm okay with that. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. So, okay, so hello. we- Hello, hello. Yes, hello, hello. Uh, so we need to go to the barkeep. Um, where is the family rifle? It's on the way back to Barkeep, it appears. So, talk to Guide. Where is Guide? Oh, Lord, he's way over. Oh, okay. He's way the frick over there. All right, let's find the family rifle on our way back to Barkeep. Are we over encumbered? No, we're good. But... Do I need to keep this? I don't know. It doesn't weigh anything. So I guess I'll just keep it in my inventory just in case. It couldn't hurt. Wait, I'm not done taking measurement. What? What measurements, buddy? Okay, now he says, "Hey, marked one has live." Okay, I guess he's fine. I just he he just. I hate it when it does that. It's so creepy. Door is locked. Oh, I guess I needed to go farther. Okay, let's save again. Let's head back to barkeep area. Carefully. And see... What happens. I don't know if I want to, like... Should I have brought those... Uh, artifacts with me? I mean, I'm sure it's fine. You know, they're stored away. I can go back and get them if I need to. It'll be a trip. But if I really, really need to, I can come get them. No big deal. Truly, no big deal. Oh no! Uh-uh. I don't want to deal with you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I ain't wasting my ammo on you bitches. No friggin' way. Look at us! Yeah, they'll get burned if they try. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, is that a snork? Flashlight's on. Oh. There we go. Getting closer. Okay, we definitely got some some enemies here. Woo! What am I hearing? Everything's fine. 
loads of those dogs, dude. Oh my god! There's at least two of those mutant dudes. Oh my god. Oh! Wow! I- Wow! Um... Okay, I was not paying attention to where the what- Okay, that- that came out of nowhere. I was- I was so distracted by the dogs and... <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be a lot more careful this time and maybe not die right away Cause There seems to be a bunch of bloodsuckers and a bunch of dogs out for some reason What the fuck? Why? Huh? Okay, yeah, see there's some blood sucker. Ah! Okay. Fuck you. You don't get to kill me, I kill you! Ha. <laughs> get smooshed. I wanna save. Okay. Oh my god! I- <laughs> So not paying attention. I think I just saved. I did. Okay. I knew he was close. Okay, it's fine. They're just coming from everywhere. What? Fine. Okay. Oh! Wait, is this stash? No, it's just... Look at all the dogs! They're everywhere! What is happening? And look, there's a bloodsucker right there. There he goes. Oh. Oh, I should probably save. Okay. Oh, look at what you were carrying. How nice. How nice. All right, we're going to make our way down very carefully. I hear one. I'm very scared. Oh god, okay. Okay. Woo! Um, there appears... I'm just hearing growling all around. I'm very scared. It's very loud. 
I think there's a stash right over here. I kind of don't want to mess with it though. Okay, I see a bloodsucker. There's two of them, they're just hanging out. Oh no, I do have to go under. Maybe the other side, but... Yeah, I think that's blocked. Shit. Okay. Are you really gonna fuck with me right now? I really don't wanna have to shoot you, man, but... Damn, I don't wanna... Just let me pass through! The fuck are those? Oh my god, they're the rat things! Oh my god! Ew! Oh, you- Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no! Oh, that's what's happening. Okay, it's just throwing stuff at me. Okay, um... Alright, it's out. Ah! <gasps> it's just throwing stuff at me! That's rude. Um... Uh... I don't want that. Freeman! Black kite. Is that the weapon I need? No, it's not. It's- it's the family rifle. Oh no. Um... Aha! Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. Beep, beep, beep. I get it. I get it. Okay, we're gonna save- oh no. Ow! Stop throwing guns at me! That is so impolite. That is so incredibly impolite. Rude. Stop! He's dead. Meatball. Whoa! 
Okay. Okay. Where? Where? Oh. Oh. Fuck you. Wanna fucking go? We'll go. <laughs> to the bar. I need a drink after this bullshit. Damn. Okay. We got him. I'll take his vodka. Oh, let's save. Been a while. Four! Who is... Who is... Okay, I see a friendly. Okay. Okay, are they... Wait, what's his name? Dennis Cleaner. <gasps> okay. Fuck off, kindly. Seven, seven, who's here? Who on fucking earth is here? Oh, they're all friendly. Okay. So if I take this out... Um... They won't shoot me. Right? Right! Hey, buddy! I wish you well. Thanks! Awfully nice of you to say that. Oh, we made it! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, get me out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. I wasn't expecting all those guys to be like, just hanging out, being cool, you know? Being, being, being little buddy, buddy friends, buddy friend bros. Um, okay, how the frick do I get to... Oh, oh no. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash. Okay, we're gonna save. Just to be safe. So, I think I go this way with the window. Okay, yeah, I'll just follow the arrow, but I also gotta use the sights here. So I turn right, and I follow this way. Oh yeah, and I go up these stairs. Okay. There we go. Alright. We know where we're going now. Everything is great. Thing is great. I said come in. I Don't am! I'm coming, man! Oh. Oh. <sighs> we'll take some of you. And we'll take some of you. Because we definitely need them. Uh. Okay, that's the family weapon. Okay, let's go turn these in. So, Mark. Got the documents from X-16? Yeah, I do! Well, Marked One, now we just need to deal with the Scorcher and open the way north. You ready to go now? Uh, no, I'm not ready yet. Here is the flash drive Professor Kruglov gave me. Good boy. I think Duty will be very grateful for this info. Here is your reward. Uh, see you. Uh, not yet. Wait, did I turn in the gun? Who do I need to turn the gun into? This guy? Hey, any news? Did you find it? I found it. Here's your rifle. Wow, you found my rifle? I'm lost for words, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. You really helped me out there. You really did. Damn. Here, 
Take this. It ain't much, but it's all I got. I won't forget your help, and I hope to repay you in time. Listen, I'll tell you something. There's a weird, boarded-up house near that place you found my rifle. Nobody knows what's really inside it, but you can see through the windows that there are anomalies there. Lots of them. There might be artifacts in there, too. I don't know how to get through there, though. Okay. Come here. Cool. I've always got something interesting for people like you. I don't care, snitch. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, new one. The second dream. After turning off that horrible brain in a tube, I fell unconscious. The pressure of the last few days must have taken its toll. While I was out, I had a dream. A photograph. A gray-haired man is holding it in his hands and a huge dog is at his feet. The man is looking into the distance, but around him there is only a swamp. The landscape doesn't look at all like what's on the photo. In the fog, I can see the silhouette of someone walking away. The man is talking to himself. If it's so important, why didn't you tell me what this place is and where you got that photo? Then, on the side I see a smiling young man standing on the threshold of the cabin, who says cheerfully, If only you knew where I was and what I saw there. He extends his arm holding a marvelous device which lights up the whole cabin. The dog starts to growl and squeezes into a corner. The gray-haired man mumbles, Someday these games will spell trouble for you. Flash. The same young man with his face covered in blood stumbles inside the cabin door and falls. Lightning flashes in the sky. Heavy rain is pouring down. Flash. The cabin bed with the young man covered in bandages. He is unconscious. The gray-haired man mumbles, hang in there, son. Some personal things are piled in a corner and among them there is that strange photo. Flash. The photo is in the hands of the gray-haired man. The young man, now with scars in, on his face, is about to leave. The gray-haired man asks him, Where are you off to now? The gloomy answer follows. The North. Flash. Then I woke up. Woo! Uh, Gordon's PDA. Alright, uh, January 12th, 2012. God damn my bosses, won't leave an old man alone. First Mesa, then some strange town in Russia. And now they send poor little Gordon into the endless Ukrainian plains. Take your Jimmy and have fun. Uh, March 20th, 2012. Made it into the zone. Are there really no bears here? Who am I going to fight then? I'm not finding my bearings too well in this place. I had to give my little crowbar away for a can of meat. April 26, 2012. The blowout has started. The barkeep told me to hide my ass and keep it and keep it hidden. I chased some rats out of an abandoned tunnel. I hope to wait out the bad weather in here. I love that. <laughs> oh. Gordon Freeman. I got to I got to play Half-Life, guys. <laughs> I got I got to do a let's play of Half-Life one of these days. It's on my list. It's on my list. Let's see, what else? Anything new? Negative. Anything new in the encyclopedia? Yes, crystal. Is created when heavy metals fall in the burner anomaly. This artifact eliminates radiation wonderfully. It is highly valued by stalkers and hard to find. Ooh, okay. I think I kept that, maybe. Thorn. The result of the interaction between the anomaly burnt fuzz and the body of a careless stalker. The thorn artifact pokes the body of its owner, no matter what. But it also helps clean the body of radionuclides. Quite, sweat, quite widespread and cheap. Factions, zombified stalkers, poor souls subjected to prolonged exposure in Yantar and a few other heavily radiated sectors. Careless stalkers gone mad and turned into walking corpses. Many such corpses wander the zone, some wander as far as the perimeter. They are beyond help because the destructive process is irreversible. Zombified stalkers are still able to use their weapons, but they are quite dumb and can be heard mumbling meaningless, fragmented sentences to themselves. They gradually lose all their skills and turn into zombies. They are usually very aggressive and can present a serious threat in large numbers. I'll say. <laughs> I'll say. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, we've really smush down our task list here like there isn't even anything I can scroll through 
So find the item. I don't think we're we're gonna get this before before we're gonna be able to to you know it's it we're time's gonna run out. Time is gonna run out. I kind of want to start heading back to Corden. We might have to go talk to the guide and uh, and see what's what's happening over here. Plus, it's been a while since we've been out this direction and. Have I been out this direction before? Right here? Right here? I'm trying to think because here, here's my little rookie village, right? Right here? There's the little bunker. Then you go over, here's the train tracks. Unless, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go check that out. Uh, let's buy some uh, ammo, definitely. Hey barkeep, buddy. Uh, let's trade. Do you have, whoa, military armored suit, holy shit, that's expensive. This Scat 9M bulletproof military suit is, is designed for assault operations in areas of anomalous activity. It includes a PSZ 12P heavy military bulletproof suit, an integrated compensation suit, and a Sphere 12M helmet. It provides perfect protection from bullets and shrapnel, and it doesn't decrease the soldier's mobility. It has a balanced system of anomaly protection. Damn, that is crazy. Saving up my monies, man. Hmm. Oh! Exoskeleton. A military exoskeleton prototype. It never went into mass production because of extreme cost and some design flaws. It is, however, produced in small batches in small illegal factories outside Ukraine. This is a third generation exoskeleton. The design defects which used which used to decrease its mobility were eliminated and the armor was reinforced. It provides excellent bullet and shrapnel protection. It has a low level of anomaly protection. Damn. That's very intense. Um I don't know if I read this one yet. The the barrel 5M armored suit. A Barrel 5M Special Forces suit modified for the zone environment. It includes a PSZ-9A military bulletproof vest with beryllium coating and a Sphere 08 helmet. It is designed for assault operations in areas with high background radiation. Its level of anomaly protection is low. Okay. Ah, understandable. Uh, 545s, please, and thank you. I will always take your 545s. What is this? GP37. Nope, my Tundra does better. Even though lower accuracy, like, I'll take this. I, I have come to really like that gun. I've come to really like that gun. Okay. We do need to sell some random stuff here. <sighs> what do we need to sell? I mean, whoops. Hitting escape twice. Let's actually. Yeah, let's keep. A meat chunk here just in case we'll put two away got plenty of bandages got some food we got some ammo oh shit I gotta sell the other type of ammo you can't go there I, I'm not trying to I'm trying to talk to the barkeep I'm trying to figure out where he is okay we're gonna sell you um 545, 45s, and buckshots. Oh wait, I have three pistols. Black kite. I am gonna actually hang on to the black kite. Because... Just for funsies, it's accuracy as shit. But I like its name. I like its name. Big Ben. We're gonna sell that. I don't give a shit about that. That fucking gun, man. Oh, I, I could not give a shit. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright. This looks good. Perfect. We are prepared for our next jaunt out into the zone. We're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Love your face. Take care of yourself. And we'll see you next time.